Hi guys, this is Dr. Neil Malden from the Western Veterinary Cancer Center, part of the Western Veterinary Specialist and Emergency Center located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, I put up a video uh, dealing with some very basic cancer terms that you may deal with, uh, and I've had a couple of requests to perhaps break that down into more manageable chunks. So what I've done is pull out each set of definitions that I talked about in the longer introduction to cancer terminology video and put them in little bite-sized pieces. So watch them each individually, watch the entire thing, and be sure and give us feedback if you found them useful. So I think maybe the first question we should try to answer is what is cancer? And while this is an obviously extremely complex question with many, many parts to the answer, I think at its most basic what we can say is that cancer is unregulated cell growth. Uh, and what we mean by that is that the cancer cell has lost uh, the ability to respond to normal cellular control mechanisms. Uh, so this can have a lot of different, very deleterious effects um, in your patient. So if the, if the tumor cell has decided that it's no longer going to respond to signals to stop growing when it comes into contact with neighbor cells, then we can just see unregulated growth locally and, and you know, invasion and destruction uh, of the primary site. Uh, if the cancer cell has figured out a way to ignore the signal telling it that it should not continue to grow and progress and then figures out a way to enter the bloodstream or the lymphatics and to spread to a distant part, uh, then that's an entirely different problem. Now we have a patient that's showing us a systemic level of aggression uh, because of their cancer cell. Uh, and that typically, that concept, I guess, really leads us to the, to the classification of a malignant versus a benign tumor. Um, we generally break cancer down into those two very large subcategories. And then under each one of those headings, there are many, many, many different kinds of cancer uh, that may be classified as either malignant or benign. Uh, but we really, when we think about tumors, that's kind of the first question we want to answer is, are we dealing with a malignant tumor or are we dealing with a benign tumor? So the word malignant implies uh, that a tumor has either an aggressive local behavior uh, and or a sus aggressive systemic behavior. Um, and that process of systemic spread is called metastasis. And uh, what that means is that the tumor gains access to either the bloodstream or the lymphatics and is able to spread, use that sort of as a subway or a conduit to spread throughout the body. Um, so when we think about malignant tumors, we think about a tumor that's either behaving in a locally aggressive manner, it's very invasive and destructive of the tissue around it, uh, or we think about a tumor that has a risk of spreading to other parts of the body. Uh, benign tumors, on the other hand, have a much less aggressive local behavior. So rather than being invasive and destructive into the, the normal surrounding tissues, uh, they tend to just grow and kind of push the normal tissue out of the way, what we call an expansile growth pattern. Um, and really a benign tumor should have no risk of distant metastasis. Uh, if a tumor truly is benign, then it should not spread to another part of the body. Uh, part of the confusion comes in and that fairly infrequently, um, but it still does occur, we'll see a patient who has a biopsy report that suggests that the tumor is benign, but when we look at the patient, we see that we're dealing with a, with a tumor that's behaving in a systemically or locally aggressive manner. Uh, and it's just the nature of the beast. Unfortunately, cancer doesn't always go along with the script that you believe it should, uh, and every once in a while, you're going to see a patient who's biopsy report and the clinical progression of their disease really don't go hand in hand and that the tumor's behaving in, a, in some manner different than what we had originally predicted.